some bonus footage talking about mistakes. So in the uh, interest of, of realness and also giving personal perspective on this, I thought it might be useful if I talked about some of the mistakes that I have made in witchcraft. And at this point, looking back nearly two decades, I can see what I thought were detrimental major issues and things I really beat myself up over uh, were really learning opportunities and have aided me and built the tapestry of my life um, and made my practice what it is because I made those mistakes. Uh, one primary example is in We the Liminal, I talk about the House of Noon, which is the second house of the modern tradition of witchcraft, which I initiated five people. And I felt a lot of failure over that group because um, not long after, uh, it was about a year later, I, a year and a half, I moved from the East Coast to the West Coast, and so we were no longer practicing together. And so there was a lot of anxiety and failure all kind of wrapped up or sense of failure with that because I wasn't continuing on with this tradition and then getting all you know deep into the practice of witchcraft with these people. And so that's one part. Another part was um, one person we as a group uh, eliminated from the tradition because they were not a good fit. And that's an important thing with any working group is that you need to have an excellent fit. People have to get along. You have to be able to trust everyone in that group to the best of their ability and your ability. And that's a learning lesson right there is, you know, we often get caught up in our enthusiasm. Uh, we ignore red flags and we think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And they realize it's not fine. So being more cautious about people, that's what I learned, um, and also to pay attention to my intuition and to those gut instincts. Also that people can change because the next person that we let, technically let go, but pretty much because we're not practicing anymore, didn't really, as a group, it didn't matter, uh, I would say that they kind of fell off after eight years or so. Uh, but everybody else in the tradition, even though we haven't been actively practicing as a group, Three of those people are still in my life today. Uh, we have kind of come and gone. The threads have come together and woven apart. And, and now that I'm back on the East Coast, it's kind of amazing to think it's like nearly 20 years. It's over 20 years because I've known them for, for longer than before they were initiated, of course. They're my life. Uh, and they're all amazing people. And because of the experiences we had together, they have gone off and formed their own paths or learned other traditions. Um, and they have become amazing witches or whatever word that they like to use because of the mistakes that we've made together, because of the experiences that we had. Uh, and so that is a feature, not a flaw. Yes, it causes a lot of anxiety and you're going to beat yourself up over some things. But over time, if you are able to walk out of a situation and realize decades later that you have new knowledge, um, that you have a better sense of the world and that you have people who are by your side or part of your life who enrich your life, then that's awesome. And that's, that's part of it. And when I mentioned with the spells, you know, the spells that go wrong, um, and it's part of the learning process too. Uh, I'm trying to remember if it was Courtney Weber who said, uh, cause we had a discussion about this at some festival at some point of, um, you know, it's like they, they go right. <laughs> they don't necessarily go wrong. Um, every spell is going to work as you set it up. You might just not like the results of it um, because you did not foresee. So uh, it's not really that spells go wrong. It's our understanding of how that spell is supposed to work in our life wasn't the way we wanted it to be. And so if you want to consider that mistake, yes, but it's something that you learn from because you go, oh, I wanted to manifest this, but I really asked for that. And that is how I got that. So that's important. Um, we're also going to have things that we absorb into our practice and our path that we consider a, a law or a concept that's really important that later on you realize, I don't need this anymore, or it doesn't make sense, or I, I took this on because this was part of this coven or this group that I was in, but it never made sense with me. And and it's okay. That doesn't mean that your time with that group or coven was a mistake. Those concepts have taught you and have helped you create, again, the fabric and the tapestry of where you are now. So 
that's getting a little bit more specific with it. I hope that's helpful to you. And uh, if you have any other questions about that or, um, I didn't shut off my phone when I did this. See, that's a mistake. I'll learn for next time, right? Maybe, maybe not. So uh, that's all I want to really say about that. Just add that in there. Thanks. Bye.